Hi all, welcome to QA Script Online Selenium and QTP Training Gurukula. In this video, we'll learn how to handle drop down <coughs> web elements using Selenium Web Driver. Selenium Web Driver supports methods such as click for web buttons, links, radio buttons, and also send keys method for edit fields to work with drop downs selenium web driver provides a class called select from package org dot open qa dot selenium dot support dot ui dot select let us use facebook for our example purpose In Facebook, we have a drop-down called birth month, birth day, and birth year. When we use Firebug on birth month web element, it will be having element locator as month and the web element is surrounded by a tag called select. If a web element or a drop down created using select tag, we can use select class in web driver to handle this. To work with drop down who is having select tag in HTML, we have to create one object using select class. Here I have created a object called mnt and I have passed the web driver find element by id and id name here as month in the select class. We have three different methods from selenium sorry select <coughs> class. One is select by index, select by value and third one is select by visible text. The select by index as name suggests we have to pass the number based upon this number the options in the drop down is going to get selected. For example in the month drop down we have month name such as January, February, March so and so. If I pass index as 3 it will select March because it will start reading 0th month that is 0th position th is nothing but month first position is nothing but January second position February and third position is March if I say index has 5 then it will select May March here is the another method called select by value what is this value all about if you look at the <coughs> view page source for each and every options in the drop down you will be having a separate value let us search uh, that value then it will be easy to understand Here are the values what I was explaining. For January, there is a value called 1. For February, the developer has given value as 2 in the HTML. Likewise, he has given a value as 4 for April. Likewise, it, uh, it has been given for all the months. If you want to select February, you can pass value as 4 in the double quote in that particular method called select by value let us see our code here i have passed select by value as 3 in the double quote hence it's going to select march month there is another method called select by visible text as uh, name suggests we, are, we can pass the value of a element which is present in the drop down as it is here in our application 
when we click on this month drop down we have a month in three letters only for example if i want to select november i can directly pass nov in double code let us see how it's going to select once we start executing it is taking bit time the browser got launched and URL is getting paste over there it selected May now it is selected March and it is selected November in the drop down and got complete execution got completed so if a web drop down is getting developed or is developed using a select tag in HTML then it's very easy to work using select class in web driver but in some cases in some other application even though objects will be looking like a drop down and it will be offering you the options in the in terms of a drop down for example in uh, Google uh, create your account page we have a, a drop down called birth month when I click on that particular object or element it will offer me to select the month it looks like a drop down but when I spy on that particular object or element called birthday month so it is not going to identify uh, as uh, uh, a select drop down it is not uh, created using select tag in HTML in such cases select class from web driver is not going to work instead of that we have to follow in uh, with a different approach what is that different approach here I, am, I can follow I will directly click on this element once I click on I will try to select this as a element for example to click on this particular element this is the xpath I am getting once uh, after clicking I have to get the xpath of particular element for example if I want to select April I have to take the xpath of April let me see how this xpath is present this is the xpath to select the month and if you look at the end point of xpath based upon the number the month is getting selected if I say 5 May month is going to select if I say 4 April month is going to select I don't want to hard code the xpath and I don't want to restrict my code to select only one month in my code instead of that what I am thinking is I want to select the month based upon the input what I'm going to pass it it may be from a variable or it may be from a test data set here I have used a date class by using this class I am going to get the number of month if I say February in this month in this uh, date class it will return month as 2 if I say April the month number is going to ret uh, return as 4 I have uh, used a variable called iterator in the xpath instead of the value so after uh, identifying what I'll do I'll uh, replace this variable by month for example here I'm going to get the month number as 2 and I'm going to replace this iterator by month value that is 2 so that it will select the month February from the drop down if I say April the month value will be 4 again it will be replaced to uh, iterator hence it is going to select um, April month in the application some year this is what the coding I have done here so this way we can uh, replace the value 
by uh, variable then by the value what I we are going to pass from test uh, test data sheet or from a code let us execute this piece of code and see how it is going to select the month called February Browser got launched. Selected February month, and there's a few more lines of code to select the location. Yes, it is selected and close the browser. Thanks for the watching. For more information, please contact the uh, info at kvscript.com or kvscript25 at the rate of gmail.com.